Hi, my name is Kevin Gibbs, and I have been playing and teaching saxophone professionally in the Austin, Texas area for 20 years. Uh, today I'm here to evaluate the Antigua uh, Pro 1 tenor saxophone vintage lacquer finish. So first off, I'll just start by just uh, my first impressions when I look at it. Beautiful lacquer. It's, I really like the color. It's kind of this like dark gold, almost copper, but not quite uh, finished. Nice and shiny, beautiful flowering design here along the bell, and actually it goes all the way up the horn too, even on the body up here. It's a really nice design. It's a different look. I've never seen an instrument that quite looks. It's got some interesting um, feet, just design features, some uh, interesting looking things like the these bell keys have these three little arms here. Kind of like that. It's an interesting new look. Uh, interesting mechanism here. Uh, right here on the the F key. It's got a little seesaw mechanism. That's interesting. Um, it's got two uh, neck piece, neck strap hooks, so you can choose uh, where to uh, kind of balance the the weight of the the instrument. I'm choosing the the top. I've found the top one works better for me. It has a better feel to it. The bottom one feels like it's a little bit off balance for me but the top one works so it's nice to have that option for different sizes of people um, yeah it's a beautiful horn it's got a great weight to it feels sturdy feels strong the keys feel strong you feel like I'm gonna bend them just by playing them um, nice action nice quiet action pads sound good yeah so for the aesthetics, I, I really like this, this instrument already. So let's talk about uh, how it plays, and I'm going to compare it to my Mark VI. I play on a Mark VI, a Selmer Mark VI, and I play on a Selmer S80 C-Star mouthpiece. Uh, and I uh, play on Van Doren reeds. I go back and forth between the traditional reeds and V12s. and. Uh, yeah, so I am going to play a little bit on my Mark VI just to have a playing comparison. And then I'll play on the Antigua. And we will see how, how they're similar, how they're different, what I like, what I don't like. And yeah, they've got about the same weight. Mark VI and the Antigua. I think the Antigua may be just a, a little, little bit heavier, but not by much. It's pretty, pretty similar. And okay, so I'm just gonna play a little bit on the Mark VI so we can have a little sound comparison, and I can have a little feel comparison. How they feel different. <laughs> Thank 
six up and down I have always liked my the fullness of the sound and the, the freedom of sound um, my mark six uh, thing I don't like much about my mark six is my intonation it's a little bit difficult to play in tune so I'm gonna check that on the Antigua see how that is but I like the free blowingness of my Mark VI, and I like the full uh, tone that I get in all registers, low, medium, low, middle, high. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna compare that to the Antigua. <laughs> is um, it plays very evenly all the way up and down. It feels great from low to high. It feels very even um, as far as resistance goes. Uh, it's not too resistant. It's pretty free-blowing. The low notes um, speak remarkably well. I mean, I barely have to try and they come out great. Um, I like that. It's a little brighter in tone than uh, the 6. The 6 has a little bit of a, a darker uh, tone. I've got a little, uh, some more highs in my, in the uh, tone of the, of this one, the Antigua. Um, which is, I mean, you know, some people um, want that and some don't. Um, I, I prefer the darker tone, but I, uh, it's not too bright to where I can't control here, I'll play the same thing on this that I played uh, on the Mark VI, the same little uh, etude. the ergonomics um, keys feel like they're right where they should be feels good on my hands um, it's got uh, the, the keys are pearl and they are indented so your fingers can fit right into it um, my, uh, a little bit more indented than what I'm used to I, I guess my, my mark six has uh, slightly indented pearls too, but uh, this is a little bit more indented. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, yeah, everything feels like it's right in place. It doesn't feel too different. Uh, the octave key feels good. It's right where it should be. The pinky keys feel good. They're right where it should be. Um, the fork is a little... It's a little lower than I'm used to, but that would, wouldn't take long to get used to. Um, high F sharp key. It feels, it feels good. It sounds good. It plays good. Uh, it sounds like it plays uh, in tune. Um, and the other thing I wanted to check out, my low F sharp on the uh, Mark VI tends to be a little gargly. gargly that's a word. It tends to be a little... Uh, Wispy, airy, tough to get out. I wanted to check that out here on the Antigua. Antigua. Yeah, that uh, actually comes out smoother and easier on the, this than it does on my Mark VI. So. Yes, I'm really enjoying playing on this. It sounds nice, it feels nice, it feels, it feels good. It feels like a very good quality horn. I would, uh, I would definitely recommend this to my students who are looking for uh, a step up horn from their beginner. <laughs>